I was going to show you the photo that I used, the reference photo I used to, uh, to get a, the idea for this painting. So there's the photo. So you can see I just used it kind of as a base and then I took some liberty. So mine's a lot lighter. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't work with all that darkness. It was just going to be too dark. So I made it lighter and brighter, but I used the idea behind it. So that's what you can do a lot of times. In fact, that's what I do very often is I'll, I'll look up, look for a photo and when I find one I like, then I just take the parts of it that I like and adapt them. Now you do need to have your uh, Sharpies with you tonight. Do you have your Sharpies? Uh, that one. Yeah, you need to have Sharpies because when we do these all these branch <laughs> things, we're going to draw a lot of that in. We're not going to paint it. We're going to start with the background. Uh, what else is new, right? And then we're going to, um, once we get the background done, then we're going to put the lantern in, and then we're going to draw the branches and paint and start painting the snow. The snow I did in a few layers. Now I drew the branches first and did the snow around it because I wanted to use the branches as a guideline of where to put the snow. So you need blue and white. You know what? Let's go ahead and put um, just a little bit of red and yellow on. We're going to darken up the blue and we don't want to use just black. So take your uh, big brush and we're going to start by doing some blue and white kind of streakiness down the front in the middle. So let's go ahead and put some just grab some blue and some white on your brush. It doesn't have to be in any order in particular. And then just do this down the middle. About two-thirds of the way down. Maybe a little more. My brush got a lot of water on it, so my paint's acting up a bit. You want to bring it over to the side over here. Put some blue up in this corner. And you can put a little bit of straight blue in here too, although it's all looking the same. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let me dry my brush off. There we go. And you want it to be a little bit, a little bit streaky. This is a little bit of light, kind of misty light in the background. Not. Not anything much. It should be streakier than mine is coming out right now. I think my uh, paint's too wet or something. I'm going to try putting just straight white on it. There, that's better. You want to get some streaks in it like this. And try not to show, you know, start at the top and just bring your streaks all the way down. You don't want to have a lot of brush strokes in the background. Not that it matters too much because this will be covered up, but a lot of it will be, but some of it will show. Take your brush and put a tiny one corner of it in red and one corner in or, uh, yellow and then stick the middle in some blue and kind of mix that up like that. So you get a duller blue, a duller darker blue. Basically what you're doing is mixing orange, if yellow and red make orange, you're mixing that with blue to tone it down rather than adding black to it at this point because black will make it darker but it also makes it really dull. We just want to get a little bit darker. And it's going to go kind of up here in the corner. This is just like going to represent some shadowy trees back here. Do the same thing over here. Try to get this to hold still. Just kind of scrub it in. And then I want you to take your blending brush.
and just go along the edge here and just do some circles like this to kind of blend it into the blue into that lighter blue so it looks kind of like trees back there in the background it's kind of misty back here a little bit misty and it looks a little bit like tree branches and you can add a little more of the darker blue if it gets blended in too much like it did right here on this side so I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Then once you get that done, you're going to add black to the blue and get, so you can just dump a little black over to the side <clears throat> on your plate like this, and then take some blue, put it over here where your darker blue was, and take your brush and just put a tiny bit of black in it. We want to get kind of a navy blue almost, or maybe even a little darker than that, kind of a blue-gray color. So we want it to definitely be darker than those other trees. And then we're going to suggest some more trees back here in the background. And it's just a little bit like this. You just want to make it look like there's some bushes back here. It'll be real dark, but not not very clear. And just blend it down toward the bottom part. Okay, so then you're going to just let that dry. You can do a little more over here on this side too. Just with the same dark color. So what you're doing with your brush is, it's called scrumbling, which means you're taking your brush and you're just pushing paint onto the canvas with it. Just kind of circling around and scrubbing at the canvas a little bit to get the paint on there. So we're going to let that part dry once you're done with it. And we're going to start with that with that darker blue. You can add a little more a little more blue to it so it's not quite as dark. And we're going to do this in the back here for our layer of snow. But it's it's way in the shadows, so that's why it's so dark. So you're just scrambling it on there too. And you can kind of you can kind of do this to blend it in a little bit. So go all the way across the canvas. Let me know if I'm going too fast. This part's pretty basic, so we're not taking a lot of time with it. And then you can add some straight blue to kind of lighten it toward the bottom a little bit.
Now at the very bottom, you're gonna create a darker ridge. This is the front snow that's kind of up out of the reach of the lantern. If you need to mix a little bit of um, orange and, and blue together, add a tiny touch of black to it. Okay, so you should have a, pa a painting that looks something like this at this point. And, I'm trying to straighten out my camera. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take straight black and we're gonna take our fine brushes, because we're not gonna put the lantern in yet. He needs to dry a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and paint our branches in. So you figure that your, um, lantern is going to go right about here over on the on the left hand side right in here so you don't want to put any branches in front of there but the only thing we're doing right now is we're just putting in the main the main line branches we're not putting in the we're not drawing in all the other ones we're just doing uh the big fat ones like this so you're just going to dip your brush in straight black and Let's say start one up here. I would put a tiny bit of water on my brush. That'll make the paint flow a little more smoothly when you're drawing in the line. You can always go back over it if you want to. But when you're drawing in the line, it's easier if your brush flows a little bit or if the paint flows. So you wanna do this and just make it come across them at a weird angle here. So anyway, you want this branch to end up over here. So whatever you have to do to get it, maybe I'll go at it from this direction. And it can be all crooked and jaggedy, that doesn't matter. Don't worry about that at all. So we're gonna put in a big branch over there. More water. Okay, and then you have another branch that starts up at the top and comes down and kind of crisscrosses across that one. Just lift your brush at the end so your branch has a little bit of a point on it. And then you're going to take one here off of this one and come over this way. And then one starts over here at the side and comes across. And it doesn't matter if these branches kind of cross in front of each other. They're tangled. I think they're probably evergreen branches, so they're sticking off the side of the tree trunk that we can't see. And it's going to go all the way over here to the edge. So I'm left-handed, so I do better if I actually start at the right side, then I can see what I'm doing. So if you happen to be a lefty, do that. If you're right-handed, just draw your branch in as you normally would. When I do that, I can't see what I'm painting, so that's not necessarily a good thing. So you have that branch over there. We have another big one. 
coming down here. I know it seems like this is going kind of fast, but it really isn't because with all the detail is in the snow and the uh, lantern. So we just have to get this stuff done so that we can focus on them. So this one is going to come all the way down here to the ground. And you can make them a little bit thicker if you want to in spots. I'm going to make it a little thicker as it heads up toward the tree branch. Like that. And then you're going to have a couple of little branches off to the side over here. And these are little, so they're not going to go much further than right here. So see where I have my hand? So it's right about there. And they're going to come more straight down. So start one. Let's see. Start one right here and make it go up and off to the side. Like that. You know, some of your pretty Christmas paintings that you're doing, maybe not for this year, but maybe next year, you can photograph those and you can turn them into personalized Christmas cards to give to people. And people would love, I've done that for years, and people love to get those kind of cards. Just buy card stock at, online and just size your pictures and edit them to get them to look the way you want. And then we'll do another branch coming down this way like this. And we'll do one more over here. Also coming down. Don't make them look like they're in a row though. Kind of make them a little different from each other. We have a little one coming up here. These are little skinny ones. Skinny er, but not so skinny that we want to use the Sharpie with them. I like using the Sharpie to even things out and to draw things that are really skinny and need to be helped along a little bit. Um, but I don't like to use it for large areas. Okay, I think our snow's dry enough now. Should be dry enough that we can work on our lantern. How's your snow? Is it dry enough? Okay. Now the lantern is not difficult. And you're welcome to vary the shape of your lantern a little bit if you want to. You know, you can um, <laughs> rounded on the top a little more than I did. Mine is basically supposed to be a square lantern, but it, uh, I played kind of <laughs> kind of loose and fancy free with it, so it's not uh, photographic. Um, let me give myself a little more black here. We're going to paint it black, and then after it dries, we come back and we put the other details in. So let me show you the lantern again. So this is what it looks like. So we're going to paint the sides and this part and then a little a line here and then we go up, paint that part black and paint this little round part here. You uh, don't need to paint this part, we'll draw that part in, the little hang, uh, handle. Okay, so we're going to paint it black to begin with. Now, we're not going to paint all the way to the sides here, just this part black. We don't want to have to go over it too much with the orange. For this, I'm using my flat brush, my uh, middle size brush. If you have a brush that gets flat, then use it. If you don't, then you might want to use your fine brush instead. So, I'm going to start part way up on where I have the... 
the white the white earth snow. And since the lantern is kind of the focal point of the of the painting, I'm going to make it big enough that you can see it. And you want to make it about this wide. You can do a little line across here for the bottom. And this side is a little bit wider just because of the angle. I think that looks crooked, so I'm going to try and straighten it out. Make it as straight as you can. Later on, uh, when we get to doing the finishing touches on the painting, you can use your Sharpie and a ruler to make the edges totally uh, lined up if you want to, so that it looks a little neater. Just do the best you can right now. This part's going to be a little bit wider. Now what you need to do is find your center point from the bottom here, from this open space. So you're going to go up and it's going to, and just put a little dot right there so you know what you're aiming for. And then we're going to do a line across the top. Can come out a little bit on the side. I'm going to make this a little bit wider over here. And a little bit wider over here. Oh, I really wonky that up. Okay, come on. All right, and then you can either, <clears throat> you have a choice of either going straight up or you can kind of curve it a little bit. I, when I first did mine, I did it straight up, and then I went back in and curved a little bit. So I'm going to curve it just a little, like this up there. And then do the same thing on the other side, if you can figure out how to do it. When I'm not videoing something, I turn my paintings every which way, but sometimes when I'm videoing my painting process, that's not a good idea. And then fill that in, that top. And I'm going to put a round, I'm just going to put it right on top like this and across. Just take the point off. I don't really want a point on there. I just want a little Oh dear, I don't think I made him wide enough. Okay, I'm going to fix him. Hold on a sec, here we go. I'll make him wider. So if it's, don't make him too small or it'll be hard to put detail in. I want him to be... going to be better and I'm going to make this side come out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and put some white paint in the middle there because <clears throat> I didn't make the inside part of it wide enough. So I'll do a correction here in a second. Should have left him alone. Okay, he'll be all right.
Now we're going to work on the snow on the branches. No, we're not. We're going to take our marking pins and we're just going to draw in the basic branches because um, <clears throat> that tells you where to put the snow. So we're not going to draw we're not going to draw in all the little twigs. We're just going to put in some main branches, just one here, here, you know, like that, so you can see how to shape your snow a little bit. So you just uh, start with your branch and say, do a line. Do another line over here. These are going to be covered up pretty much, and then we have to go back in and do them again at the end, but these are just guidelines. So you want to make sure that you have some good branches in here for the snow to fall, fall on. And that will determine how, you're, how we put the snow in. It's easier than trying to imagine it. So just to draw in a few lines like this. So basically you take, go to the branches that you already have and just draw a line coming off of them. Just pick a spot and draw a line, curve it a little bit, they shouldn't be straight. Doesn't matter if they overlap with other branches, because in some places the snow is just all over the place on both of them. So that's what I want you to do is go in and do this. just in a few areas so that we have <clears throat> some guidance for the shape of the snow. You can just kind of hold your pin far back like I'm doing and just let it kind of flow on its own. And that gives you more natural looking branches than if you're trying to pin them in perfectly. Now the idea when we're painting the snow on is that we don't want to cover up the main branches. It doesn't matter if you get a little bit of snow on them, but mainly you want to um, keep them so that they stand out. So the snow is going on the other side of the branches. So we're going to mix up a blue and white, and we are going to use our medium brushes. So the blue and white needs needs to be a real medium color. We want to have, we don't want it to be super light, although we will put a little bit of light of white on the outside of it. So it can be like this, and you can also go back and forth in here and add some darker, um, darker streaks in and stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to start with the um, the bottom because as snow falls down, you know, it settles on the bottom and then it builds up on the top, on the branches as you go up. So we're going to start down at the bottom. And what I want you to do with the snow is you're going to put it on really, uh, you're going to put it on thick and you're going to um, not make it rigid, but it's not going to have a lot of lumps in it. So it's going to be kind of smooth along the edges. This is real heavy snow that's fallen and mounded on these so on these branches. If you go over the skinny branches, like I said, that's fine because um, we'll, we're going to draw them back in anyway, but try not to go over the big ones. So you follow along the branch line. So see how this branch comes like this? I'm going to start with the snow down here. You can do it in kind of a circular motion. That's probably good. And periodically you can dip your brush in white a little bit to give it some interest so that you have a little bit of white on the edge, but not too much white. 
We just want a little bit of white because this is nighttime. So you're just going to go along like that. So just take the, use more the corner of your brush and do little circular brush strokes like this to get your snow on. You can also go a tiny bit in the blue to make it a little bit darker in some spots. And we're going to cover all those branches with this blue snow. Put it on both sides of the branches. And you can leave a couple of areas that don't have a lot as much snow. So like up in here I left some blank spots and right in there. So you don't have to cover every single branch with the same amount of snow. But there is a lot of snow on these branches. So I would start with the underneath side of the branch and then go on top. And from time to time, just for interest, you can dip your brush, the corner of your brush, a tiny bit in the red. Especially if you're over by the lantern. Don't worry about doing the big highlights, but you can do a little bit of a highlight in there. Just a little bit of a different color. Just for fun. So see how I'm, I'm kind of going over my branches, but... I'm using them as a guideline on where to put my snow. So once we've gotten this first layer of snow on, and remember I said this doesn't have to be perfect, we're going to go down and work on the lantern. And then we're going to come back in and do our second layer of snow, <coughs> which, will be, um, which will be adding a little more color to it. And, and um, adding the highlights from the lantern and everything. So that's the plan.
first thing I want you to do is take your brush and, and dip it in light blue and bring it across the top here. I mean, not the bottom. Well, the top of the top of the lantern part, but the bottom of the base. And then I also want you to take the blue and just kind of bring it down a little bit in a couple of spots here on the lantern because there's some light coming out of the top. Yeah, light blue. The lantern is giving off a little bit of light up here. So it doesn't need to be anything too too strong. And then also take your light blue and start over here on the right hand side up here on the very top and just kind of paint it across here like this. So it looks like the top thing is has some light hitting on it. You also put a little bit of lighter color on here, okay? <clears throat> and then take your brush and dip it in straight white and put it just on the very edge right here, not all the way across. Just a little bit and a little bit right here. do a little bit of a white across the top there like that and just kind of blend it down a little bit wipe the paint off your brush and just blend it down a little bit and then we're going to mix up some yellow my yellow is drying out and red I want to get kind of an orange color And I would add a tiny bit of white to it because that'll help it cover a little better. And you're going to put it on the edges of the sides of your lantern so that it's shining. Looks like it's shining out a little bit out of the side of the lantern because there's a gap right there. We're just not detailing it. And over here, and on the inside of your lantern where the light's going to be reflecting off the candle. So just do a line down the side like this. You shouldn't have white there. I put white there because I was correcting mine. So you can put it right on top of the black or right next to the black, whichever you want to do. And we're also going to put some across the top of the lighting space right here. Now bear in mind you might have to do two coats of this because you're doing it on top of some dark blue back there in the background. So if you have to come back in a few minutes and do it again, that's fine. I pretty sure I'll have to this and come down this side and you can also take a little bit of yellow and kind of streak it in there a little bit too to show give the idea that there's light just add some yellow on top of it And on the top where it has those little holes I was talking about that let light out, just on top of the little blue streaks that you put, just take your brush and do a little dot of the orange-yellow color. Do a couple of them. So it looks like some light is shining out of the top.
and take that same color and add a little bit of red to it to get it a, a little more of a reddish sam like a salmon color almost if you just add it to that color that you had mixed up and you're going to put a candle in here So the candle's kind of a rectangle, like that. You can make it go a little bit rounded on the top. And then you're going to take your same brush that still has paint on it and just dip it a tiny bit in the water and they're going to start painting the orange glow in up here. Make it a little bit kind of circular. Don't worry if it doesn't cover all the way. And then what I want you to do is take a dry brush or your finger or something and just soften the edges like this. You can dry off a brush or or wash it off and we'll get the get it a little bit transparent around there with your candle then you can take some more red mix it in and just put it put a little line up here to look like the inside so it looks like there's a little inside to your candle I know that's kind of hard to see but and also do a little bit of streakiness down here, down the side for some shading. And I even put a little bit of red over in here too, just to make the lights look a little brighter and stuff. So you just put a little bit on the inside. Now, while you still have that orange color kind of mixed up and hopefully not all dried out, mine's drying out really fast, take it and highlight your snow that's around the, around the lantern. put highlights where the snow would be the light would be hitting the, the snow on the branches just along the edge and also down here where the lantern is sitting in the snow you want to put orange little bit of yellow to brighten it up a little. So you have color down here. There would also be some over here. And right there. Now after you've put that orange on there, wash your brush off and dip it again in some of the light blue and white. Just mix them up. They don't have to exactly match your other snow. But you wanna go swirl this in a little bit like this. So you can get the highlights. The color will mix in a little bit, but that's okay. So we'll come back over it in a minute but and what I I like to use my finger to do this because it actually makes it blend a little better 
But if you don't like to use your fingers, you can do it with a brush that's dipped in water. Then you can, after you put a little bit of blue on there, you can take your brush and dip it in the orange again and just highlight it a little bit, the orange and the white, with the blue and the white, so that you get a blended look. You don't want it to look too um, what's the word I want? Um, harsh. So you can do some of this to put your brush a little, put one edge of your brush in the orange and go along like that. That will also give you a nice edge to your snow that is being lit by the by the lantern. Does that make sense? So if you take your brush and you dip it in light blue and then you just dip a side of it like this in orange and then go like this, you'll get a or nice orange highlight that's blended with blue. And you just kind of swipe it in there. And if you need to brighten it up a little bit, add a little more white to it, a little more yellow to it to make it a little brighter. So now we're going to work on the snow for a few minutes again while we uh, wait for the, the lantern to dry. And while you're working on your snow, this is where you're going to add in some white highlights along the edges so you can make, put some little white edges around to make it look like there's a little more snow pile up on there. Just blend it in as you, as you go up like this. So say you have a say you have a totally dry spot. If you take a totally dry spot like this and you put some white paint on top of it, then all you have to do is take your brush and go like this and blend it up and it'll blend right into the paint that's underneath and you won't even be able to tell that you did that. So go along in and put put some a little white highlights on some of the snow so that it's not all dark. Just various places. Let's go like this, put a white highlight in there, and then just blend it with your brush. And it will look fine. And it will look a little more interesting. So you can see what I'm doing with the snow, right? I'm going in and I'm going about half and half with blue and white to get get some of this. Ugh, I don't have much white on there. To get some of this 
so that it's, and then blending it a little bit so that there's a little more interest in it. And it highlights the front, the top edges of the snow. Just a little. You don't want to make them too bright, but you don't want them to just blend into the background either. So put a little bit of white on the edge just to make it look a little, to brighten it up a little bit. Then we'll finish the lantern in a minute, and then we'll, um, you guys can of course keep working on your snow and everything. I'm doing what I usually do, which is take you through the techniques for finishing it. So don't, don't feel like you have to finish it all right, you know, while we're doing this class. If you want to spend a little time on it, that's fine. But I'm just showing you what, what the techniques are so that you can, can reproduce it the way you would like to. And then at the very end, if you have sparkle paint, you put sparkle paint, look what I did. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but there is, let's see if I can get it up here where you can see it. See, there's sparkle paint along the side here. There's sparkle paint on the, on the lantern. And there's sparkle paint down here where the snow is, where the light's hitting the snow. And there's a lot of sparkle paint, whoops, on the orange part. It doesn't show up too well, but there is. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more on this snow and then I'm gonna just quit and let it dry so we can, so I can show you how to do the branches. So we need to put our, our uh, candle flame in and on the yellow part on our, lan on our lantern. The candle flame is going to be mostly yellow, but you're going to have to add some white to the yellow or it's just not going to show. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is put a little more glow on that orange that we did right here. I just added a little white to it just to, well, where's my orange? I think it's all drying out on me. Okay. just to make that look a little more. And then take some yellow and mix it with white so that you get a real pale yellow because uh, trying to go in with straight yellow is just not gonna work. My yellow has dried out too. This lack of humidity is not good for acrylic painting. Okay, so then you wanna take either your tiny brush or your flat brush and you wanna put in four or five little candle flames like this in here. Oops, that's not a very little one. I'm going to give the idea that there are some candles burning in here. And then I put, I did a little bit of yellow along the edge of the candle like this and just pulled it down to so you can get the glow. And do a little more yellow on the inside here. Start doing the Sharpie um, stuff on it. Just to show you, now don't use the Sharpie any place where it's not dry yet. But if it's dry, you can use it. And I'm going to show you how I do the branches. So I take my Sharpie. The first thing I do is go in and fix these branches where I got paint over them. So just even them out. I'm not going to bother with painting them at this point. We'll just draw them in with the Sharpie. So any place where you got paint on your big thick branches, just kind of even them out a little bit. We're letting the lantern dry because we're going to do a little bit of Sharpie work on the lantern, but it has to dry first. Then you can start drawing branches. Now just draw little branches, not too much. You don't want to overwhelm it with branches, but you do want to have branches here. So basically I just go down, add a branch, add a branch, sometimes add one down there. And then you'll go on the other side, now up here where this one is. 
I'm going to bring that branch down because I pretty much covered him up. So what you're doing basically here is just re redrawing your branches and adding a little more branch detail than you had before. So you don't want to... Um, that's not quite dry. So you can take your time with doing these branches. Once your paint is dry, just go in and on either side, just make these little graceful little branches coming off here and there. You don't even need to thicken them up. I would thicken up the big branches if they got a little too much paint on them. Your branches can overlap each other, be a little tangled up a little bit. That's fine. They can even run off the edge of the snow because there might be part of a branch that's not covered with snow. So you just do that. You need to go around and highlight the edges here. So if you got too much white on there like I did, just go highlight the edge. Make sure your lines are a little straighter, more even. So you can outline your lamp, your lantern. And I would go in here and outline the edges along where the light is reflecting too so that you get straight edges here. Make sure that you have the bottom edge nice and even like that, sitting there on the snow. This one goes down like this a little bit. So any place where you've got an edge of paint or something that isn't working right, you can even draw if you want some little wicks in here for the candles. I would draw a line across there. So any detail that you want to add to it, you can add to it at this point. And the one thing that I did use a straight edge for is this. In the front, it has this crisscross. goes from the corner to the corner. So you want to take your Sharpie and do a nice line right across like that. and like that so that you have these that line going across there and other than that the about the only thing I would do to this to touch it up if you want to keep touching it up is I would take I would add like in my case I don't know what yours look like we're going to look at them in a minute but in my case I would add a little bit of yellow down here just to brighten this snow up a little bit and maybe put a little more yellow over here on the edges and blend it in just to give a little bit of brightness to it. You can even have it coming down a little bit but not too much because yellow will, will um, you can bring the orange down but if you try to bring the yellow down it's going to um, turn green and you don't want that. So you will do all your branches up here. So say I do this branch, since I covered him up pretty well. Let me show you this one thing, and then we will call it done for tonight. But you do this, and you just do a big branch like this over to the side. Another one over here. So just, you know... Let your, just kind of let, your pen can take on kind of a life of its own if you let it, drawing the branches in. The other thing you want to do if you have sparkle paint, whoops, is you want to put sparkle paint down here in the snow and up here around the lantern. 
and also maybe up here on just a tiny bit on some of this because it really does let me see that's frustrating to me that I can't show it to you very well on here because it really is pretty oh there now you can see some of it sparkling so see how there's sparkle along the edges here like this and there's some sparkle up in here too and it really makes the snow kind of come alive and look let's see if I can get the light to hit it just right me doesn't want to anyway there's there's oh there ooh I just had it and then it flashed off again show me show me come on me how did I get the shimmer and then it went away okay anyway there is sparkle up in here too so I'm gonna stop the video and I'm gonna going to um, have you show us what you got and then you guys can keep working on it. And I do want to see finished pictures, so make sure that you post them.